It's your girl, Missy, here, back with another one. Here to give my predictions for BMF Season 2, Episode 6, Homecoming. Cousins, please keep in mind that the episode will not air until February 17th. Here is the synopsis. Meech and Terry return to Detroit from Atlanta with product and a new technique to flood the streets with BMF product. Meech links up with Sterling and the PA boys to continue his quest to kill Lamar. So let's discuss the synopsis really quickly before we get into the trailer images. So Meech has product and he has a new technique. So despite everything that he has going on, his goal is still expansion. So the goal is going to be to get the new product in the street. The smoking gun is usually who you do not see in the trailer. So we didn't see Sterling, we did not see K-9. So Meech will be having a official conversation with Sterling Black about Lamar and if they can help him take Lamar out. Also, please check out my video that I dropped about Sterling Black a couple of weeks ago. I'm also working on an updated video about him and a real life documentary that will be related. Those will drop closer to episode six airing. So we open up with Lamar and he's changing his bag finally. It finally got through his head that Alvin was not gonna keep changing that bag for him. But Alvin tells Lamar that the Flannery boys are out on the streets and they are sending a clear message. Then we see Meech and Terry driving. Terry got a machine gun in his hand. They want revenge on what happened to Meech and even more importantly, Lamar approaching Lucille. That entire scene between Lamar and Lucille was intense, but it's time for these boys to get to work and see what they can do about Lamar. Then we see a quick shot of someone firing a gun, and to me, if I had to pick who it could be, it looks like it could be Jen, if I had to guess. But to be honest with you guys, this is so blurry, there is really no way to know. But I feel like this can either be really, really important in episode six, or it could be some BS and probably somebody at a gun range. By now, everyone most likely got word about Nito and Tiny, so they know Lamar is on a warpath. We see Meech and Terry talking to Hoop about everyone having a target on their back. And also, Meech probably wants to know where Hoop was because he was supposed to be watching the house. So where was he when Lamar approached Lucille? But the streets are hot, Lamar is on a rampage, they are gonna to have to do something about Lamar. At this point, Meech has to come up with a solid plan. Then we see Meech, he got his flashy gear back on, he's feeling himself, but whatever happens, it doesn't end well because we see that he got into a mini scuffle with someone and he is getting put out. Wanda asks Terry if he is back in the game with Meech. At this point, Terry just needs to be honest. Wanda pretty much knows what it is, but Wanda is going to have even bigger issues because not only is Terry back in the game with Meech, but he also got another chick on the side, someone's wife, and that's Markeisha. But Terry is really doing the most, telling Charles that him and Meech are businessmen. Like, dude, just keep it 100. Everybody knows, well, everybody in the family knows what y'all are doing. So Charles tells him that they're going to end up dead or in jail. One thing I gotta give Charles credit for is that he does not want his sons selling drugs. And that's exactly how a father should feel. Yes, they came from a broken community, but they helped break it too. A lot of people come from a broken community, but we all have choices. The only outcome for their actions is dead or in jail. As their father, he has to be honest and try to redirect them. Sadly, at this point, they are too far gone. We see Meech, Terry, Roly, and Hoop behind the crime scene tape, and the look on their faces is not good. So it has to be someone in the crew, and my guess is that it's Saki. I think a lot of you have commented that you think it's Saki as well. We know episode six, Lamar is out here in these streets, and I think he's gonna get Saki, unfortunately. I just hate that everyone is out in the open. After Lamar shot Meech, they all should have been on guard, strapped up, and ready for war. Then we see Jen telling Bryant that he's hiding something from her again. Jen is going to push until she finds out the truth about Bryant. She's not going to let up until she finds out her partner was pretty much playing both sides at one point. Once she finds that out, what does that mean for her? Like I said in my last video, I'm not really sure what will end up happening to Jen. I was leaning towards her not making it out of season two, but with Brian's partner Lopez being killed in season one, I'm not really sure where they would go with Jen's storyline. 
Um, I hope she's around for a few more seasons, but she can still go. They can make it look like an accident or something could happen in the line of duty. It still is a TV show, so whatever end result they want, they will find a way to make it happen. B. Mickey tells Bryant that him and Meech have history, but he is done living in the past. My issue is this. If you're done living in the past, let Meech know instead of smiling in his face and playing behind his back. That's how people get their wigs split. I think Bryant is going to come to Mickey about K-9 and Mickey is going to give up information. Things are going to get real hot K-9's way. Now, here's the thing. K-9 may have killed Big L for violating Meech. But what's funny is that K-9 killed Big L and the guy at the stadium on his own. Meech had nothing to do with any of that. But, unfortunately, I think Mickey is going to connect the dots for Bryant, which will cause Meech and K-9 to possibly have issues. Bryant wants to get at Meech and he will do it by any means necessary. And the end result may be K-9 going to prison. We see Jen and Bryant at the record store, so it could be behind something that B-Mickey said. I cannot wait for them to find out that Mickey is playing both sides. My guess is that it will be episode 6 or 7. Episode 7, you all know I follow the episode titles. And episode 7 is titled Both Sides of the Fence. So that could be where Mickey is found out. Monique goes home and it looks like Lamar is there waiting for her. In another clip, we see Lamar beating on someone and I think it is Monique or possibly even Wanda. I really hate to see that happen to her. Lamar is a problem and hopefully we come to some type of resolution in episode 6 because although I like his character, we cannot keep going back and forth with this Meech and Lamar. It's time to go to Atlanta and move past this and grow the BMF story and their team. Meech is talking to Monique asking her if she has seen any sign of Lamar and she lets Meech know that he got to come at Lamar from an angle that he is not expecting. So maybe they can find a family member and get close to Lamar that way. Unfortunately, Lamar seemed like he really doesn't have anybody. The closest person that we see on the show at this point is Alvin. But honestly, Lamar may not even care if they do something to Alvin. Meech could use Monique to get close to Lamar. I don't know if she would want to do that, but that's another person who can get close to Lamar. We see that Lamar has a huge gun and he's getting ready to bust shots on somebody. My guess is it could be Saki. Honestly, Lamar just needs to be in prison for real. The fact that Lamar has done so much and people know about it and he's still on the streets make no sense at all. I feel like the detectives are really not doing their job and some of them need to go. It's too many detectives on the show for everybody to be dropping the ball. So Hoop tells Meech that they have a big problem. Or it could possibly be that he got wind of something involving B. Mickey. Because the season description does state that Meech is supposed to get wind of something about someone in their crew. So it's time to set the stage for everyone to find out about B. Mickey and his actions. Then we see that Meech and Mickey are having a conversation. They make it seem like something is going down. But y'all already know how they do with these trailers. It can look bad, but it's never what you think. But my hope is that... Meech found out information about Mickey and he is bringing it to his attention. Then finally, we see this clip of Meech and Terry beating up what looks to be Dink. So it looks like we could have lost Saki this episode and Meech and Terry found out something about Dink that they're not too happy about. Or maybe Dink was supposed to be by Saki's side and he left him. I don't know, but it looks like Meech and Terry are beating up Dink. So some things are going down with the crew. And I can't wait to see what it is. I hate that we have to wait two weeks for this episode because I'm so anxious. All right, cousins. So what do you think? Let's talk about it. All opinions are welcome. Please comment your thoughts. See you later. Woo.